Okay, we're going to work on the drawing for our end table. Now, first some basics here. This is a drawing from last year when we did our desks, but same idea. This is a scale drawing, and notice the front view, or also called the elevation drawing. And then to its right is the side view, as if we were looking at that side, we were going to turn it like that and look at it the side, that's what it looks like. Generally also, you turn this up to the top, and right here on the drawing will be the top view. So you have a front, top, and side. So let me show you an example in fine woodworking. Isn't that a beautiful desk? I love those turned legs. That's why we did the option of the legs last year on the desks. So on, on this page, right, we have a front view and a side view. And notice they line up with each other. Now there's not a top view here, I think, for the same reason we didn't do one on this drawing, is because the top doesn't give you much more information than what you already have. Instead, they've given you this exploded view, which is fantastic. You can see every piece, how it goes together. It's full of information. And I wish that we could draw that. <laughs> that would be super complex. This was done with a computer, uh, for sure. All of this was, but uh, you build the project in the program, and then you explode it. Um, and I wish we could do our drawings on computer. It just takes too long uh, to learn the program. We would be spending our time learning the program and not building. And so we'll save that for another class another time. Okay, so we are going to do the same thing with our table. Only uh, I'm going to start with the top view of that little table. Now here's our here's our sketch, right? So I'm going to do the top up here, use that, extend down to draw the side view, and then flip it over here to the other side. We'll also need to do a couple of other uh, detailed drawings. Uh, this one in particular we're going to need to do, which is a section drawing, and I also want to do a leg. So here's the drawing so far. It's not completed yet. It has no dimensions on it, no notes, no markings. Uh, and it also has some of the rough construction lines. This was complicated to draw for me. This has taken me about four hours so far. Now, it's not going to take you four hours to draw this. Uh, it took me that long because I'm creating, right? I'm going from this sketch and that's all I've got, so I've got to figure out sizes and angles and what I want it to look like in true scale form. So it's been quite challenging. You're just going to copy this and it's not going to be a big deal. When you go to do your own drawing of your own project next semester, that will take you lots of time. This one won't be too bad, though there is lots of challenges in this drawing that I have come across. And one is that everything is angled and curved. And that's why I drew the top first. So you do the same thing, right? You draw this guy first. That's your first drawing. Locate that rectangle that it's contained in, find some key points, and then draw your curves. Curves are drawn like this. Take the metal ruler and put a slight bend into it. And if someone's there to help you draw it, you do it. If not, you kind of have to do it, you know, put it up against your body, my tummy in this case, and then that's one way to do it. This one you have to do a little more, uh, this is too tight, you'll bend the ruler. So you're going to have to freehand that one, or you can use other types of tools like uh, this French curve. 
right, to get those angles. Or you just freehand it. Once you've drawn that, then you can extend the lines down here and there, right, to get this side view, or uh, yeah, or front, front view, I guess. This would be the elevation looking at it that way. Notice also that I've extended lines down to get the precise locations of the tenon coming through the top. This is challenging, right? So I can see looking at it from this way, two legs. That's why there's two legs here. And they're in three dimensions, meaning that corner is this corner, that one's that corner, that one is that corner. Here I've got the same thing. There's a corner there, another corner there, and another corner there. So this is somewhat tricky, but I think you'll be able to handle it. Uh, the way you see the leg is kind of strange. And let's talk about that in a second. So this comes first, this drawing comes second. Then you extend this over and do this one third. So now I can extend this all over. And the reason why this is important is now I'm getting a different element down here. Looking at my sketch, right, one is looking at it this way, the other is looking at it that way, and that lower stretcher is quite different depending on whether you're looking at it this way or this way. Okay, so I can extend this all over, and look how I get where things are positioned here, right, I extend lines over like that, and then there's a diagonal, and it cuts down and gets those precise locations here. I don't know if that, I hope that makes sense to you. When you're drawing this, you don't need to worry about this much. You can just measure over boxes and copy what I've drawn. But for me to draw it originally, I have to know precisely where all of this stuff is. And I, so to do that, I extend lines over, and then I come down precisely where they go so they're all in proportion and scale to one another. So I come over this way, I come over that way, and I can get the location of the tenons, the legs, etc. Now, <clears throat> the same thing goes here. As I'm looking at it, right, I see that far leg, and then I see that one, and that one, and a little bit of that one. So I actually have one, two, three, four legs here. So <clears throat> there you go. I also want to give you another help, and that is because all those legs are close to the same, And here I've drawn a detail of the leg in a, a section drawing. I'm going to print this out for you on cardstock so that you then can cut it out and use it as a template so it's fairly rigid. So every time you're going to draw one, you can put that on there and trace it so you don't have to draw every single one of those curves precise, which is nearly impossible to do but with a template you can do it okay let's talk about the section drawing so here we have our layout start there go to there go to there here I want to do a detail of the leg and then here I'm going to put a section drawing and that section drawing is Cutting off the leg right there and looking down. This is what it's going to look like, and I can see the curve of those lower stretchers. Okay, so what do I have to do yet? I have to erase some of my construction lines. I suppose I don't have to do that, but uh, I don't want to confuse too much the viewer. I need to put dimensions on here. Uh, and dimension lines and then label the drawings and then I'll be done.